Good morning, everyone. Aja here from Pandemonium. It was such a rainy day here at camp yesterday. Let me show you a couple clips and then I'll show you what camp looks like now. Wow, talk about a rainy day. Oh geez, that looks like a muddy, flooded mess. Guess we won't be getting out for a couple days. Holy moly, now it is hailing. Wow. That's crazy, look at all the hail on the ground. Definitely not a good day to do anything. I guess video games it is. Oh wow. the whole camp is getting flooded out. Oh, I can hear the thunder. Nice white fluffy clouds at home, but it's not raining. Wow. Oh. Well, I guess this is what they mean by raining cats and dogs. That was loud. Maybe it wasn't the best idea to go camping in the mountains with the monsoon weather coming. Uh oh, flash flood warning. What does it say? Uh, Mount Eldon Estate. Look, Jimmy and Olive made it. It's kind of wet through there. You might want to skirt the edge. Huh? It's kind of wet. Who's that, Mumu, huh? Who is that? Well, as you can see, yesterday was a mess of a storm. That's actually probably the worst storm I've been in while I was camping. There's a pond that's forming underneath Jeff's rig and a few mud puddles still here and there. Ew, muddy, 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 muddy. This is where Jimmy and Olive had pulled in and it looked like they were gonna get stuck. But luckily they moved on and he didn't wanna pull into our camp since it was so wet and he found something further down the road. Oh wow, look at the mountains in the distance. The San Francisco peaks are actually cloud covered. That's beautiful. This main road here is cindered, so it's not bad at all. Unfortunately, the camp spots are not cindered, so they become a muddy mess. And since it's a muddy mess, I think we're going to walk down to our friend Jimmy's camp and see. He said he found a pretty good camp spot that could fit all of us, so I want to go check it out. Well, don't you just look so cute sitting on the bench. Mimo, you want to go for a walk? Come on. Go, girl, go, girl. Who's a good girl? You're the good girl. Yeah, as long as you stay on the road, it's pretty firm. But I stepped off the side there for a minute and it was kind of mushy. So hopefully it dries up because we're definitely going to have to wait till the ground isn't soft anymore. It's supposed to be overcast with chance of rain today, but then the next three days supposed to be sunny. Three days of sun should definitely dry things up. And today is Wednesday, so we've been here for one week. We get 14 days, so we have another week. Hopefully things will be dried up. Some parts of the road are flooded, but at least it's a side. Oh, he's booking it, isn't he? <laughs> he must be in a rush to get somewhere. Luckily, the way the county grades the road, everything washes off to the side and there's not a lot of um, mud puddles, which is good. I wish our road at home was more like this. 
is it can become a muddy mess. Right, Momo? <laughs> hey, catalog. What are you doing? Look, Momo, there's someone parked in the middle of the road. With a bunch of doggies sticking out. <laughs> Look at all the dogs, that's cute. Wow, I think there's like four or five dogs in that rig. On the right side of the road over here, there's a bunch of no camping signs to let you know what areas not to camp in. Guess he didn't find a camp spot. We're about a half mile in, so we have another quarter of a mile. I think Jimmy's parked about three quarters of a mile from us. Wow, this is the first mud puddle I've seen. It's a pretty big one. They have the diverting ditches that run the water off, but it seems like they need to dig out this side a little bit more. Okay, I see our friends camp right through the trees there. There was someone camping way back there. I hope they've left because this is a muddy mess. I don't know if anybody can get out of that. There's our friend's camp and it looks like his road is not that bad. Looks pretty dry. Oh, how pretty. Look at all the wild lupin in bloom. Oh, it's, it's not good here, the internet. Come on. Go. Kellogg, go. Hey, Olive. <laughs> what you doing? Crazy doggies. I didn't feel it until we got here, but it is muggy. Jimmy just said it was 80% humidity. Yeah, ooh. this spot is kind of muggy right here. Decided to take a walk on one of the side roads and oof, it looked like someone almost got stuck here. That's a mess. Yeah, these side roads are not maintained. So Jimmy said he heard a bunch of side-by-sides last night and that's probably what could have tore up the road. Jeff was just talking about there's a new thing now in order to get your side-by-side -side license or the little sticker for your side-by-side -side so you can actually use these roads, which I think is $30 a year. You have to take some kind of class, pass some kind of class, and you have to have a driver's license. So it limits it age-wise. That's probably what was going on at Cinder Hills with the Sheriff's Department, because that's actually who holds the classes. And we saw the Sheriff's Department there, along with other side-by-sides. This is a massive pile of wood. There's several of them throughout the grounds here. I'm sure it's home for a bunch of creatures, but I think they eventually clear it out. There's a free permit that they give after the wood is done sold and it allows you to come and harvest what's left here. Wow, there are so many piles. There's a campsite, but all this side is closed down. We made it back to one of the main roads. I think this leads back to where we're camping at. Olive, calm down, look. There's a little baby bird egg there. Huh, gonna put it by there so nothing steps on it. It might be a quail. Olive, you're just crazy. She's just, look at her. But this road could get pretty bad, I think, if it real wet. Yeah, I'm sure. It could be muddy, muddy, muddy. Go, go, go. Go, Kellogg. Catch up with everybody. Go. He's like, I'm on a leash. Oh, look at the wild roses in bloom. How pretty. Wow, this is a big patch right here. Look at the flower. Cute pink and yellow flower. Look at it, it's a field of gold. Well, of chartreuse. Moo Moo, what you doing? Yes. What you doing, huh? What you doing? Yes. What you doing, Olive in Kellogg? Oh, cool. The diverting ditches are working. Look at this pond is full over here. 
It's nice for wildlife. Uh, no. Yeah, some spots have totally failed. <laughs> Still a very big puddle. Yeah, this road here is definitely not maintained very well. It's a mess. Messy mess, I think, until you get all the way back to 518. Olive, did you find a pretty flower to smell? <laughs> She's all into that flower. Okay, we made it back to 518. Gonna head back to camp. I haven't eaten yet, so I need to grab something to eat real quick. You gonna head back to your camp? All right, we'll see you later. Bye, Olive. Good girl. Jeff's trying to get out. I don't think he's going to be able to. I don't think you're going to be able to. It's too mushy. You, you parked in the lowest spot here. It's the next day and today is supposed to be sunny all day. As you can see right now, it's sunny, but we just had a short burst come through. And I feel like it's gonna get messier and messier being here. And as you can see, Jeff's already bogged down. He seemed to have parked in the low spot where all the water collects. I was fortunate enough to get out, but my rig is different. I have dualies and a stronger engine. You can see where my front tires wanted to get bogged down here, but luckily it's rear wheel drive, so it didn't happen. These Pro Masters are known for getting stuck because my friend Jimmy had gotten stuck quite a few times in his old rig, which was a Pro Master van. So I, what I wanted to do is I wanted to go down with our friends and camp there for a couple days because we'll be leaving. Our, another friend had joined us. So we want to hit the road and go down to the Mogollon Rim, but that's going to be in several days. But I want to go down there and hang out and get out of this muddy mess area, but I don't want to leave Jeff behind. Definitely could probably pull him out with my truck, but we would have to wait till things dried up because that is such a slippery mess. Right, here comes the clouds. I think it's going to rain again, but just saying the next three days it should be sunny, but up in the mountains you just never know how it's going to be. Okay, here comes the rain again. I'm kind of thinking I should pull out of here because it wouldn't help both of us being stuck. Yeah, because if the rain persists, then we're never going to get out of here. The Dodgers are front wheel drive and they're trying to pull all that weight instead of the back wheels pushing it. Okay, I came to where my friends were camping and it didn't say that it was going to be sunny with rain as well. And it's literally raining and the sun's out. Awesome. Oh, God, here it comes. Moo Moo, get back under the awning over there. <laughs> gonna get all wet. Well it finally quit raining and I'm just wondering if I should just stay down there and hang out not move to where our friends are and let things dry out a bit but I can definitely get out like I said and probably pull Jeff out with the truck I don't know but that might become a mess because it's still so muddy under him. Right Momo? It's a messy mess. <laughs> yep, she agrees. It's a messy mess. We're almost back to camp. Meow. Well, he was in a rush. Another day has passed and today thankfully is sunny. And no rain. You find something, Kellogg? Huh? What is it? Jeff had dug out his rig and put some wood under. He left his tracks at home back at um, RV Base Camp. Wanted to get some of the weight off there, so I helped him get the back hitch thing off. And it is pretty much drying up. It's just it's hard to dry up underneath because the sun can't get under there. Like I said, since he doesn't have the traction pads, he's using wood and rocks. But yeah, I'm gonna hook my truck up to it and then we're gonna try to pull it out. Well, this sector here is pretty much dried up. I'm gonna look in the back and see if I have my toe strap to pull him out. I hope I do, fingers crossed. 
Fingers crossed I have it. If not, I'm sure one of our friends has a toe strap. I usually keep it with me for stuff like this. Oh, let's see. I think I do. Oh. Kellogg, what are you doing? Making a mess? That's not the one. I don't think I have it. Okay, it wasn't in my RV. It possibly could be in my truck. Uh, oh yeah, there it is. It's behind the seat. Forgot I put it back here. Uh. Oh God, it's stuck. Release the Kraken. Okay, it's free, it's free. Always good idea to carry a tow rope for situations like this. Awesome. Yeah, it was in the truck. Here you go. I thought I'd gonna try it. When they installed this, this makes me think that they knew this thing was gonna get um, bogged down and stuck a lot. That's why they installed that tow hitch. Kellogg, stop that. Let's put the dogs up. Come on. Kellogg, come on. Let's go to the car. Stop messing with that. All right, come on inside. Come on, Kellogg. Come on. Go inside, Mimu. Kellogg, come on. There's something under that wood that he wants. Come on, Kellogg. He probably won't leave that. I just didn't want any of the dogs to get run over. You're obsessed, obsessed. Get in there. Okay, we gotta hook the RV and the truck or the truck up. Mama, outside. Good girl. All right, yay, he is out. Got to move my truck, but at least he's on solid ground. And here is the muddy mess that he was in. It was just the low part of the campground or the campsite. And it just is saturated with water and become mud. Yay, Mumu, he's free from this spot. <laughs> awesome sauce. It's a good thing you moved those boards, but I would definitely leave the rocks there so people know oh, that. I'm put the dirt back in over there. Yeah. Well, this has definitely been several days of craziness, and this has definitely been an ordeal. So I'm just glad he's out of that mess and unstuck and back on dry, solid ground. But, anyways, we're going to probably pack up. I'm going to help him get his stuff put back on the rig, and then we're gonna head down and camp with our friends that are just down the road. But I wanna thank y'all for hanging out with me during this video, and don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed it. And if you wanna check out more videos, they'll be right over here. Or if you wanna subscribe or check out Patreon. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Mwah. Which way are we going? Uh, Your way? Or, okay. Watch out, Kellogg, go, go.